Skip it up and that up. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rich of Review Tech USA, and those are boobies. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm gonna make it totally obvious and staring at your tips. Oh. So I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Crazy Ken Bay. He sent me today's news story. You could check out his channel below in the description. And today's topic is: Are sixty dollar video games going to fade away? Think about this, okay? You go to a store and a new game comes out that you want. Let's say, for example, Max Payne Three is coming out in about a month. It's gonna be sixty dollars minimum. You want the collector's edition? You're looking at a hundred bucks. You go to get a popular game for your iPhone or another smartphone. The games are a dollar. Yes, there's less content, but they're addicting games that have a ton of replay value, and they become very popular due to their affordability. And because of tablets, smartphones, and even web browsers, there's becoming this big gap in game software pricing. And unless you're a development company creating a highly anticipated AAA title for the PC or consoles, you end up being stuck in the middle, and it's tough to turn a profit. Now, in 2011, physical content sales were down 8%, and this year is pretty rough too for game sales. Some people are blaming the decline of the Wii and Wii software titles, but in general, people aren't buying games like they used to, and the industry has no idea why that is. I can tell you, it's the economy still. It still sucks. It sucks big time. But in the end, everyone can agree with this. The games are expensive and people can't afford them. Publishers blame console games' high prices on a bunch of different reasons. Insanely high development costs, piracy, and of course, they love to blame the good old used game market, claiming that buying and selling used merchandise is taking cash out of their pockets. Ugh, don't get me going on that again. But the article says that there's two main problems that are causing game sales to decline, and I agree with them. The first one is this. Psychologically, $60 sounds expensive. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. So unless you're so financially well off that you're farting out $50 bills, you're not going to be able to afford every new title that comes out. You're going to be like me and only get a couple new games a year. The second reason is people are playing cheaper games. There are great games out there for 15 bucks or less. And if you think it's just casuals playing games like Draw Something, Angry Birds, and Infinity Blade, you're wrong. On top of that, people are buying games off of Xbox Live Arcade and PSN for dirt cheap. And they're great games. Look at Journey. Journey was the fastest selling PSN title ever. Battlefield 1943 that was released on PSN and Xbox Live Arcade sold over 1 million units. Again, another cheap and affordable downloadable title. The bottom line is the developers and publishers have to find a way to release games for less than 60 bucks. Because if they keep up this insanely high price point, the industry's not going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to shrink like it is now. And if they dare think they're going to charge $80 for games while trying to kill off the used game market with next gen, I will totally abandon consoles and solely game on the PC. And God forbid they try to charge $80 for a game that's only digitally distributed. Watch how fast the industry crashes. Mark my words. So what's your take on this? Do you think that $60 is too high for a game? And do you think that prices of new game titles will increase or decrease? I have a feeling they're going to try to milk us out of more cash before the prices drop. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an interesting news story you would like discussed in one of my videos, send me a private message with a link to the article on either G2PO or YouTube. YouTube, and if I use your news story, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your channel in the description.